Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Myself Nisha Kumar Chaudhary and I welcome everyone to my school YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you from standard fifth subject maths and my topic name is decimal fractions. My dear student, I have already explained you what is mean by fractions. Now in this video we are going to learn how to convert the fraction into a decimal form. So let's start. First we are going to see what is mean by decimal fraction. A fraction whose denominator is 10, 100, 1000 or any other 10 times multiple of 10 is called a decimal fraction. For example, 4 upon 10. Here as you can see denominator is 10. Similarly, next fraction is 56 upon 100. Again, in the denominator, it is a multiple of 10. Similarly, 492 divided by 100 or 91 divided by 100. These all are the examples of decimal fraction. Here I am going to tell you how you will going to convert decimal fraction into decimal form. So here the question is 4 upon 10. As you can see this 4 is in the numerator. So how to convert this into a decimal form? It's very simple. What you are going to write? You are going to write the numerator that is 4. And how many digits? 0 is present in the denominator. Only 1. So from right hand side after right hand side you will going to put a dot. After one digit. Why after one digit? Because in the denominator there is only a single zero. Now, this dot, a dot indicate that it is a decimal. Or we can say a dot is called as a decimal. And how to read this? It's very simple. How are you going to read this? 0.4. It's very simple. Just whatever digit is present in that number that you are going to read that. So 0 0.4. Look at this example. Again 56 upon 100 and you have to convert this into a decimal form. So here 56 is in the numerator and you will going to write 56. But how many zeros are present in the denominator? 2. So after two digits, you are going to put a dot from right hand side. Now, the next part is how to read this. 0 0.56. That's wrong. Here, how you are going to read this is 0 0.56. Why so? That I am going to explain you now. As you can see here. 43.79 So this point is known as a decimal point. This 43 is a whole part and this 79 is a decimal part. So in this example there is you can say three parts are there. The dot is a decimal point, left hand side is a whole part and the right hand side is a decimal part. And how to read this? 43.79. Why? Because as you can see I have split the number into left side as well as right side. This is our decimal point. Next to the decimal from left side is unit. Then tens. Then 100, 1000 and so on. But decimal point from right hand side the first digit is 10th. Next is 100 that I have explained you in the earlier chapter also. So here the main important thing from decimal point from the right hand side the first digit will be always 10th. That's why while reading the number we have to split this and we have to read this as 43.79. See one more example 8 upon 100. So 8 is a numerator, so I'm going to write that, but in the denominator there is 2, 0, but here only single digit is present. That means there is no 10th 
number present over here. So what you are going to write? You will going to write zero. Only of that number. What number you are going to write? Only zero. And after two digit you will going to put the decimal. And here the answer is zero point zero eight. 891 upon 100 okay so here in the numerator there is three number present so you are going to write the number as it is and after two digit you will going to put the decimal so 8.91 is a final answer so my dear student what you have to remember if there is no number in the place of tenth or hundred or thousands so you will going to write only zero in that place. We have one more example for you. Now, let's see how you are going to convert mixed fraction into decimal form. So, here the example is 3, 9 upon 10. This is a mixed fraction. Okay. Now, how to convert this into a decimal form? First, first we are going to see the fraction that is simple fraction that is a 9 upon 10 so first we're going to convert 9 upon 10 into decimal so that i've already explained you how to convert that and in the place of zero you will going to write three and how to read this 3.9 let's see one more example 9 1 upon 100 so what i've explained you you are going to write one if there is no number in the place of 10, so what are you are going to write? 0. And why we have to write 0? Because in the denominator there are two zeros. So we have to add one zero and then 9. And how to read this? 9.01. See one more example for you. Four. Thank you so much.